It's the dawn of the GNU and Goldilocks is back. Now, <laughs> the narrative around the US economy has shifted dramatically, moving from discussions of a hard landing to speculation about a soft landing, and now possibly suggesting no landing at all. The sheer size of the US economy appears to make it too big to fail. Additionally, there are indications that a Goldilocks scenario has returned. Now, a Goldilocks economy is characterized by robust stock performance, driven by company growth and positive earnings expansion. The recent US data shows exactly that. Some robust growth, a stronger labor market, and inflation which seems to be moderating. Amidst the stronger US economy and also stronger US markets, the SA equity and bond markets reacted extremely positive to the election results and the new GNU government. So much so that the SA equity market managed to outperform the DM and EM equity markets this month. The All Share Index delivered a solid 4.08% return for the month of June. While many South African consumers remain under financial pressure, it does seem that South African inflation is likely to resume its downward trend, paving the way for the Saab to potentially consider an interest rate cut later this year. Within the inflation numbers, we see vehicles, personal care, clothing and textiles, water and other services, and restaurant and hotel inflation, either flat or increasing by less than previous months. Alcoholic beverages and tobacco prices, as well as transport prices, continued higher. So when we look at the numbers for the end, end of June and compare them with one year ago, CPI continues to remain flat and is still trending higher than one year ago. Interest rates have been left unchanged yet again, as we await some positive news on this front later this year. The JSC had a good rally, but closed the month lower on 79,707 index points, still up from one year ago. The Rand managed to strengthen somewhat to 18 Rand 20 to the dollar. One year ago, the Rand was at 17 Rand 85 to the dollar, showing somewhat of a depreciation over the recent one year. Interestingly, in the last 12 months till in June, the Rand peaked at 19 Rand 51 on the 5th of October 2023. You may recall it was due partly to the announcement from the Fed that they anticipate higher rates for longer. And the dollar strengthened on the back of this news. Well, let's then briefly look at what happened in June. The local equity market, as we mentioned, is up 4.08%. The bond market is up 5.24% and local listed property returned 5.95% in the month of June. The MSCI All Country World Index was down 0.85%. Now in our financial planning section this month, we highlight the importance of a proper RMCP within your practice, as it does seem that there's a slight uptick in the number of FIC inspections. Now ensure your RMCP covers all aspects detailed in Section 42 of the Act such as Client Profiling, Customer Due Diligence, Enhanced Due Diligence, Simplified Due Diligence, Client Transition Profiling, Account Monitoring, Record Keeping, as just some of them to mention. This month, in our Interesting Numbers section, we look at the staggering amount of political candidates that we saw in this year's India election. They saw over 8,360 candidates in their election. Another very interesting number that we share. Did you know the average bull market period lasts 4.9 years? Well, looking at what we've seen in the US, it does seem it may increase this historical average number somewhat. Now, again, this month we look at uh, our four outcomes-based pillars and th the one that we'd like to focus on is managing risk. And as we zoom in on this pillar, we specifically compare the guarded growth versus the multi-asset medium equity category. What we notice here is how well Amity Investment Solutions manages and mitigates the risk. We consider aspects such as how often the portfolio has a negative 12-month return. Furthermore, we consider the worst one-year return number for the model compared to the CESAR index. 
This is not just part of the modeling, but also the ongoing monitoring of our model portfolios. The Garda Growth Model Portfolio has a lower probability than that of the CESA Multi-Asset Medium Equity category to achieve a negative one-year return. And what we also see is that the Garda Growth Model Portfolio's worst one-year return number is actually much better than that of the CESA Multi-Asset Medium Equity category. Now, our models have done exceptionally well and we show their relevant time horizons um, or their return over their relevant time horizons in our number snapshot this month. Thank you once again for watching our summary of the Market Smarts and remember that these video clips are available on our YouTube channel and the downloadable PDF document is available on our website.